Hello and welcome in this video series of Azure Logic Apps. Today we are going to learn how we can create multi-level approval based workflow using Azure Logic Apps. In the previous video we learned how we can create single level approval based workflow using Azure Logic Apps. If you are new to the channel, I will provide link to that video in the description box. In the next video we will learn how we can use for loop with Azure Logic Apps. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Let's go to portal.azure.com. So here either we can create a new resource of type Azure Logic Apps or we can use the one that we have earlier created so let's do use the one that we have earlier created. If you don't know how to create an Azure Logic App, please go through the previous video. So let's click on workflows. Here we have already created an email workflow. That's a single level email based workflow. Let's click on add, create a multi-level approval based workflow. Let's name it multi-level. multi-level approval let's say state type stateful click on create saving our workflow so click on this multi-level approval let's go to the designer click on add so here we have to choose the trigger search for http so let's click on http request so this trigger will be uh, executed when an HTTP request comes in. So then let's add, add an action. So here we have to send an approval email, search for Outlook. So we are using to Outlook to send an email. So let's click on see more, send an approval email. So after this step, once an approval email is sent to the user, the user will either approve this email or he will reject it so we have to choose uh, so we have to add an add a condition that will decide whether the user, uh, email was approved or rejected so let's click on add add an action search for condition so this is the condition so after this condition uh, if uh, it's true uh, then this part of the logic app will execute and if it's false then this part of the logic app will execute so if it's true we will send this approval email to another level in the organization. So let's search for Outlook again and see more. Send an approval email. So for this approval email, we also need to check whether this email uh, was approved or not. So click on add, add an action, search for condition. Click on condition. So once this condition is true, we will send an email to the user that your request was approved. So add an action, send, search for Outlook. So this time we will just send an email. That will be in this send an email option. So if this condition is false, again we will send an email to the user. That will be your request was rejected at level 2 or something like that so here when this request was not accepted at level 1 let's send an email to the user that your request was rejected at this level let's click on this outlook search for email send an email so after adding these necessary three steps let's configure our logic app So for this send an approval email and let's specify the email address gmail.com and me debugger at gmail.com then importance normal approval request at level one we can say pm 
Approval. Then we have to choose the options either approve or reject. Add any parameters, but we do not need to add any parameters for this right now. So let's click on this condition. So let's say if selected option of the send approval email at level one is equal to approve, then send another approval email at level one. So let's rename. importance is normal approval request at level 2 or we can say DM level then approve or reject then we have to add any parameters if we want then if this condition is false then we will send an email let's configure this part let's specify the subject subject would be just rejected Once this is done, let's approve this. We have already configured this part of the email. Then we let's check for the second condition. So here we have to choose the value. Let's choose this approval email at level one. If second, if selected option is equal to approve, then we will send an email to this email address. Subject would be let's say thanks for white and importance is normal we do not need to add any additional parameters for this then let's configure this part of the logic app let's specify the email address and subject guest guest rejected Hi. Where? At. So we have configured our launch gap for this multi-level e email based approval workflow. So if we want to add one more uh, action, we can click on this add button and specify the action. So this is how we can create a multi-level approval workflow using Azure Logic Apps. So let's save our workflow. So we have successfully saved our workflow. Let's click on this HTTP request, copy this URL, paste it in browser. So we have triggered this URL. Let's go to our inbox. Email. So we have received an approval request. Let's reject this response. Let's so we have received this hi your request was rejected at level one or PM level. Let's again run this logic app. So this is taking time. Let's copy the URL from here. Paste it in browser. So the logic app has been triggered. Go to our email ID. Refresh it. We have received this approval email. Let's approve this. Go to our mail back, mailbox. Refresh it. So approval request. So we have received this one more email. For second level, approval request at level 2 or DM level. So approve is so request accepted at level 2 or DM level. So this is how our logic app will be executed at runtime. Thanks for watching.